must get a picture of the Nassington fly. Uh, what we're in now is the Central Area London bus. It was an RF. There were about 700 RFs built in total. Some of those were built as Central Area buses like this one. Some were built as country buses, which is very similar to this, but they were green. The Green Line buses were the most famous of the RFs, most well known, because they were, used to do long distance routes from one side of London to the other. Um, they had capacity for carrying baggage. They had a different interior layout, but they were the same basic vehicle it just had a also had a high speed rear axle which uh, enabled them to go sort of 50 miles an hour as opposed to 40 miles an hour It's a 1967 Bristol RE LL which was brand new to United Counties at Huntingdon Depot where it spent a good considerable part of its life. It was then transferred to Stony Stratford and then finished life at Luton Depot where it was painted into cream and red for Luton and district colours. Uh, preserved by Luton Garage for a good few years before being sold on for preservation. It was sold to a guy in Luton for preservation who kept it for a few years and didn't do a lot to it. It was then sold to a lady in Cheltenham who spent six years rebuilding it and then was sold to me about two and a half years ago. She's a, a 1950 Bedford OB with a duple Vista body. Uh, she was new to Safeway of South Petherton in uh, October of 1950. Uh, I have got the uh, original document somewhere that uh, say what the finance was. I think she was £373 and then £70 and seven shillings a week, something like that, over two years. Um, anyway, she stayed with uh, with Safeway until 1974, and uh, in that year, a guy called Ron Piggott bought her, and uh, she went into preservation. She had a few owners, and then in the 1980s, she um, went to an operator at Wombourne Classic, and uh, they operated her for some years in a grey and maroon livery and unfortunately they went bust so she had a few more owners and deteriorated a bit and then uh, a guy from Northampton he uh, he bought her 
and um, did quite a lot of work to her. Uh, Ward Jones, um, they they did a lot of that work, and I bought her in 2008 for my 50th birthday present to myself. When Daddy, when Daddy lived in London, he had to get a number 19 bus. Can you see a number 19 bus in there? I've always been interested in route masters. I used to go to school on uh, London buses, yeah. and when the route master came out, I thought to myself, wow. You know, I'd really like to have one of those, and now I'm pleased to say I've got three. Uh, and we operate them for weddings and school proms, and special birthdays, things like that. Uh, just uh, quite a nice hobby, keeps me busy. I uh, don't know what else I'd have to do if I wasn't uh, doing the buses. Got to find something to fill your retirement. It served with Northamptonshire Fire Service all its life at Moulton Station. Um, when it retired, it went to the British Timkin Bearing people and served with British Timkin for many years. And it was found in a derelict factory used as a dust extractor. And we got it in 2010 and restored it to its present form of glory. There was only two in the service at the time and they were both automatic but they never took off for some reason. They were still stuck to the old uh, Bedford bodied ones. same driver and it drove from Peterborough to Nassington and back to Peterborough. He had a reputation for driving quite quickly. We're actually going on that one and coming back on the inner yeah. only wants 12 people. Yeah. 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 